Hey bakers, have you ever followed a recipe to a T and it came out really, really wrong? The reason might have been a mismeasurement of flour. Flour is actually notoriously difficult to measure correctly with a measuring cup, so I wanted to talk to you about all the ins and outs on how to do this and show you the very best way to get an accurate measurement. First off, if you're using all-purpose flour, you should have about 120 grams in a measuring cup, but that's easier said than done. So let's talk about this. What can I encourage you to do? Use a scale. A scale will make your life so much easier. You press the on button, have your bowl on top already, and if you don't, just press the zero button, and then you measure out the flour just by dumping it in until the number is correct. Oh, too much. Take a little bit out. There we go. Exactly 120 grams. Wasn't that easy? And, you know, if you're using like a spoon or whatever, you don't have to clean a ton of measuring cups out and like just be a scullery maid. You can live your life. Many people just don't have a kitchen scale at home, so let's talk about using a measuring cup. What do you do? First of all, let me show you what not to do. This has happened in way too many homes. You reach into your bag of flour, innocently hoping to make a delicious cake. And then you give it a rough level, and you're like, okay, that's like about a cup of flour. Oh my gosh, I just added in 211 grams of flour. That is close to twice as much as I actually should have. And I didn't even like press it down really hard. I just like did a scoop against here. So that's not cool. That would just make a horrible, horrible, dense, floury cake. Not good. What should you do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Don't drop your, don't drop your cup like that. The best way to measure flour with a measuring cup is to fluff it up. You want to have a lot of air mixed in with all those flour particles. So fluff it up and then sprinkle it in like this. Fluff, 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 sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It takes a minute. I'm not going to lie to you, but taking a minute and having a delicious baked good versus just scooping it up and having something horrible that people have to pretend to eat and enjoy, which would you choose? Okay, so I'm fluffing it in and I'm hoping this comes close to 120. Let's see. <gasps> Fingers crossed. 125 grams. That is not bad. Five grams of flour is like that much. That's pretty close. So what do you have to do? Fluff the flour up. If you don't have the time to like sprinkle it in, you're like, John, I'm not a fool. I got things to do. I'm trying to make a cake over here. I'm busy. Here's what you can do. You can take the flour and fluff it up like this, either in the bowl or in the bag. So get it nice and fluffy and then gently scoop it and then level it. So I'm trying my very best not to like pack it in because packing it in is the wrong thing to do. Now what do we have? 127 grams, that's still so close. So seven grams of flour, your cake will be delicious, your bread will be on point. Don't worry about that. I just wanna spend one second and show you what happens in a worst case scenario. So you have your flour, you scoop it in, you do this. Tamp, 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 level it off. How much does this weigh? What do you think? 196 grams. That is so much extra flour. Moral of the story, buy a kitchen scale. Fluff your flour. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, hit that like button and subscribe and let's get baking.